What's going on family? Welcome back to another video and I'm excited to talk to you guys about how to break a plateau and help you understand why you are not progressing. So as a pro physique competitor myself, I understand how I need to change my body from one state to another for a specific date and a specific time of that particular day. And also as a competitive powerlifter, I understand how I need to increase my lifts over time to ensure I'm able to perform the best on meet day. So if you guys are stuck at a specific body weight, if you're trying to increase your lifts, or you're trying to add more muscle and you feel like you're stuck, I'm gonna provide you guys with three powerful tips to help you easily break your plateau. So the first tip is going to be adjust your total daily energy expenditure. If you feel like you're stuck at a specific body weight or you're not performing that well, you might need to change your overall calories. And currently what you're doing at the moment is not helping. You need to ensure to figure out your baseline, figure out your average daily calories. You can track it for seven days and get the average to see where you're currently at. If you're looking to gain size, you're gonna have to add calories to that base number. If you're looking to lose weight, you're gonna have to take calories away from there. Starting off with taking away one to 200 calories is a good start, um, but if you're looking to do anything more extreme or move slower, you can use that as a good guideline. So the easiest way to adjust your total daily energy expenditure is your diet. I know it's easier said than done, but it's gonna give you the most impact since it's the easiest one to manipulate if you have that self-control. The next way you can control your total daily energy expenditure is cardio. So what you can do is jump on a cardio machine after some resistance training. You can uh, partake in some recreational activities, maybe you want to play some basketball or some soccer. Um, and this cardio will help you burn more calories and help you adjust your TDEE. And the last thing is going to be your NEAT, which is your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And that's anything you do throughout the day. So if you're trying to take out the garbage, if you're typing on your keyboard, anything you have to do, that's gonna to contribute towards your need. So to adjust this, you can be more intuitive and maybe park away from the grocery store, get those extra steps in, take the stairs instead of an elevator. You can do these little things throughout the day to help increase your uh, TDEE. The next tip is going to be adjust your training programming. And the easiest way to do this is adjust your rep ranges. If you're going into the gym every single day doing the same thing, you can't expect a different result. You're gonna to have to make change within your programming to be able to see a different result. So maybe your rep range is eight to 10, and maybe strength is a secondary goal. You can drop your reps down for your main progression movement and maybe hit five to six. This is also gonna help you get stronger. So when you go back to your eight to 10 reps, you will be able to perform more, more weight in that rep range. Maybe you wanna lose more weight, add more volume into your regimen. An easy way to do that is increase your rep ranges. You are gonna to have to use lower weight, so make sure you leave your ego at the door, but this will help out a lot. You're gonna do more work within a single session. It will help burn more calories and help add more volume. So maybe you're doing eight to 10, maybe do 12 to 15. And then after four to six weeks, you're gonna to have to adjust that. And the next easiest way to adjust your programming is your exercise selection. So if you're doing bench press every single session, maybe you want to adjust the rep range, or maybe in the next phase, you want to change it out for flat dumbbell press. Each exercise is gonna activate your muscles differently, and everyone's biomechanics is gonna be a little bit different. So maybe that exercise might feel different for you, and it might be better for your body. With that said, there's gonna be exercises you don't like, and most likely, those are the ones you're gonna to have to focus on. So maybe throw in an exercise you don't like and make that one of your strong points. And that's what I had to do with my chest. It's always been a weak point, but strength-wise, I was able to get it up pretty high because it was something that I prioritized and continued to focus on. And the last thing you can do to adjust your training is actually follow some structure. Make sure you're going into the gym with a plan. Understand what reps you're gonna hit, what exercises you're gonna hit. See what you have to do and try progressively overload every single week to make sure you're trying to make progress. Even if you're on a cut, I don't want you to limit yourself. You are able to body recomp. You are able to add muscle while you're cutting and you want to optimize muscle retention. So always train like you're gonna progress. 
Don't put a limit on yourself and following structure will help that. Also, it will help break a plateau because it'll help you change things up. If you're doing the same thing every single day, like I mentioned earlier, following structure will help keep you accountable to switch things up every four to six weeks with your reps, with your exercises, and any, any other variables that you want to change it up with. And the last tip I personally implemented a lot myself, and I feel like it was a game changer with my progress, is focusing on recovery. So the easiest way to do this is throw in a deload. I understand a lot of you guys are scared to lower your volume. You always think more is always gonna be better, or you're toning back a bit, you're not getting the best bang for buck. But if you're not able to recover from what you're performing, you're not getting any of the benefits of it anyway, and you can actually go backwards from this. So make sure you're able to recover from everything that you're doing. If you feel like you're not progressive overloading, you're feeling a little bit achy, you're not doing the best in the gym, you're feeling tired, then maybe it's time to take a deload. So you can just rest for seven days straight, or you can go into the gym and just get a quick pump, but make sure you guys stay away from failure. And then when you're back to it, you can perform your best and continue your progress week to week. The next thing you wanna focus on is your sleep. And sleep is just as important as your training and nutrition. If you're trying to lose weight, this is when you're gonna be losing the most fat. And if you're trying to gain muscle, you're trying to get stronger, this is when you're gonna be recovering the most. So you want to prioritize your sleep. So if you have to schedule it in into your day, make sure you get all your tasks done and go to bed early. That is something that you want to prioritize if you do want to get your best bang for bucks. So don't sleep on sleep, make sure you get your sleep in. And the last thing is make sure you're not burning out. I see this happen so much. People go into the gym, they absolutely crush that one session. They absolutely crush the next session the next day. But third day rolls around, fourth day rolls around, you're starting to get tired, your volume's gonna start dropping, and you're starting to burn out. You might have to tone back your RPEs and make sure you stay away from failure. So leave your ego at the door. If you know you can't get that last rep, don't do it. If you know you can't move that weight, don't do it. This is actually gonna accelerate your progress because you're gonna be able to accumulate more progress over time if you do stay away from failure and it will prevent you from burning out. And that also includes other things in life. So if you're getting stressed out from exams or work or anything like that, maybe you need to tone back other aspects aspects of your life, maybe you need to tone back your training, maybe you need to take a diet break. Make sure you're not burning out. Follow a plan that's sustainable for your lifestyle. Make sure that it's comfortable and it's something that you enjoy. So I know if you guys implement these powerful tips, adjust your diet, adjust your training, and prioritize recovery, I know you guys will be able to break that plateau and be able to continue to progress prevent any future plateaus from happening. So if you guys like this video, please let me know in the comment section below. If you want me to specifically talk about anything that I mentioned today and go into depth and more detail, please let me know as well. I'll be happy to provide you with that. Other than that guys, if you're not part of the team, subscribe. If you like the video, give it a like. Let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm tired. I don't know what's going on.